the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, the rain is creeping in our direction. Hopefully, you'll get a chance to get out if you haven't already today to enjoy some dry weather. Take in this evening. It's still going to be very nice. Well, plenty of dry air in place across the Ohio Valley. However, you can see down here where I've kind of painted some green. Tropical moisture, Gulf of Mexico moisture quickly creeping its way up the Ohio River. This is going to be in advance of a developing storm center back near Houston, Texas tonight. And you can see how it's helping to really funnel that Gulf of Mexico moisture up. Basically, you can follow it right up the Mississippi River and then it will hook right into the tri state and bring us a good soaking rain starting tomorrow and lingering into Saturday. That being said, a flood watch is in effect for the entire WLWT viewing area. I do expect some flooding problems in the usual suspect areas, low lying areas, low water crossings, for example, across parts of northern Kentucky. Some of the smaller creeks and neighborhood streams across the area are going to fill up very quickly, especially tomorrow night into early Saturday. And of course, the Ohio River we've been telling you about now, already near flood stage, going to go above flood stage tomorrow. This evening, though, no weather worries out there. Enjoy it. Looks like a nice night. Clouds will gradually increase. That will prevent it from getting too cold out there. Temperatures will drop back through the 40s. You can already see some of this high and mid level cloud cover beginning to increase, but still plenty of sun. 60 at the airport. We've got ourselves a northeasterly breeze out there at around 13. I mentioned the Ohio River here. Here's some specifics on the river right now. Just shy of 52 feet, which is flood stage. It looks like tomorrow afternoon it will go up above flood stage, and then over the weekend by Saturday night, a Approach as it gets ready to crest there. Moderate flood. Moderate flood stage is 56 feet. We're coming in at about 55 feet. And of course, that does take in the rain we're anticipating the fall. But should we see more rain than what's expected, of course, that could send the river even higher. Here's a look at future cast. Notice the timing a little off here. The models are really kind of waffling, if you will, whether or not the rain begins in time for the morning commute. Either way, it looks like the rain will begin early on Friday because here it is by mid morning, by 9 o'clock and once the rain gets going it will pretty much rain all day across the area. And notice you see some of these yellows. This is 530 for that evening ride home. Some he locally heavy downpours across the region through the night on Friday through Saturday morning. Here's 6 a.m. Notice it's still raining across the area and it looks like it will be early afternoon Saturday. Here's lunchtime before the rain begins to taper off and we begin to see some clear skies get in here for cooler weather Saturday night and into a very nice looking Sunday and we'll need the sun on Sunday after this wet period here. Here's what computer models are thinking will fall in terms of rainfall, a solid one to in some cases two and a half inches. And there are models would suggest even more rain than this, but let's play it conservative here and hope we end up with the inch to maybe two and a half and nothing more because any more rain would only worsen the flood problems across the area. So 44 for a low tonight as clouds build and it won't be quite as cool out there. Soggy day tomorrow. Pack the umbrella. Some rain, some of it heavy with a flood watch in effect. Here's your day planner. 45 at 8 a.m. will hover around 50 for a good part of the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. If anything's good about this, temperatures stay mild tomorrow night as we remain in the 50s and we'll top out in the upper 50s on Saturday, fall back to the 30 Saturday night. Right now, Mike and Sheree, after this period of wet weather, it looks like we've got a stretch of dry weather to take us into. St. Patrick's Day. You can round up on Monday to 70 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, it looks good.